Hey guys, it's Chris. Um, I am doing a review video today on a vendor I have not tried who has been in my Candles Anonymous group forever. <sighs> Why I haven't tried her yet, I don't know. But she was so, so sweet. Um, she asked me if I wanted to do a review. I gave her some of my tips and pros and cons or whatever as far as, you know, giving an honest review goes. She was so down with it. She was so, accom you know, accommodating. It was awesome. Her name is um, Hillary Coggins, and she is the owner of Tiny Trinket Candles. Let me make sure that's correct. Yes, Tiny Trinket Candles. I knew it was Tiny Trinket. I just wanted to make sure that it was Tiny Trinket Candles. So, she what she does, I'm going to just go to her um, website really quick. Because what she does mainly, her main thing is candles. Um, and the candles contain a little hidden jewel in them. So, a little hidden... Um, trinket and I will show you in a little bit what I received I didn't um, I didn't I haven't burned my candle so I can't show you what's in there but I will show you um, she has six she has 16 ounce jar candles for 15 bucks and you get at least two charms so basically what she does is candles with charms like um for the pandora bracelets kind of things or slipata or whatever um she does have her own um styles of um bracelets because she has like leather pink leather ones which are really cute um she has I think they're so they're all silver plated, but she has one that's kind of like a bangle, and then it's got two little balls on each end, so your you know your charms don't fall off. And then she just has a regular sort of snake. I don't want to say snake like, um, a, just a regular kind of charm bracelet, just you know in a circle, kind of thing, and you put the beads on. But um, so that's what she mainly does. That's her main thing. But she also has, if you go to her site, she has charmed jelly jars. So for $15, guys, that's like a really, really good deal. First of all, you get a 16-ounce candle, which that in itself, in, in, in itself for $15, bucks, if you're going by my rule of thumb, as everybody knows, um, for a dollar, you know, a dollar an ounce of wax, you know, you're paying less than that. So if the candle is 16 ounces, you're paying $15. So that's all good in my book. That's a thumbs up. Um, but along with the candles with the charms in it, she also does charmed jelly jars, which is, um, scent gel beads and then they have they last about um 30 days and they have the top has like holes in it i'm sure you've probably seen them from other places but they're pretty cool so you know you don't melt anything you don't burn anything it's just you could put it like you put one in your car it's really cool um and What's also cool about them is that, like, once they've evaporated, like, I guess they, they kind of, like, evaporate, you can add, I'm just looking at the bigger picture here that she has. I can't really tell from here. My son, I think, used to play with this stuff. <laughs> not the scented stuff, but probably, I'm, I'm sure it's not exactly what, you know, she has, because, but, um when it's done and all the you know fragrance and everything or whatever has been absorbed I guess I think they kind of shrink down and then you can add like a couple tablespoons tablespoons of water or whatever and it'll you know kind of come back a little more so you can get a little longer use out of it but that lasts like about 30 days those have charms in it 
Um, she also does, like I said, her jar candles. She has 16 ounce, um, 26 layered ounces, um, and a, yeah, she has a mega jarred, mega charmed 26 ounce jar candle. So that's huge. That's $26.99. That's even still, like I said, it's a, it's a dollar an ounce plus you're getting your charms. So that's super cool. Um, let me see. And you get three charms in that one in the 26 ouncer. So that's really cool. And with the 26 ouncer, she has um, special promotions. So with every, it says, it says with every 26 ounce charm jar candle, it comes with a chance to win other amazing prizes, gift cards, gift codes, and jewelry of all types are just some of the possibilities. And she said the promo starts for 113. So that may be something that may be over. I'm not sure. But like I said, getting 26 ounces of wax, these are double wicked, plus three hidden charms in there for $26.99 is, that's amazing. Um, and it says only the 26 ounce charmed jar candles are eligible for our special promotion every month. So I guess she does this every month. That's really, really cool. Um, she also has for 50 cents more, you can have your jar hand decorated. Now I'm not really sure what that means, but you can have like a low, like you can have a logo label, you can have a scent name label only, or you can have a hand decorated for 50 cents more. So I'm, I'm not quite sure what that means, but that's pretty cool if you're giving it as a gift. Um, she has bead, oh, bead pens. Oh, that's pretty cool. She has these pens. That's really cool. She has these pens for $13.99 and, oh, that's so cute. It's so hard to explain, guys, without going on the site. Um, it's tinytrinketcandles.com. I'll post, of course, the information below. But you can add charms to your pen. It comes apart, it twists apart. The top, you know, the bottom of it or whatever, and you could just add the chart. That's really cute. I like that. That's cute. Um, yeah, it's called add a bead pen or whatever. That's that's really cute. I like that. Um, she also sells tarts um, and tart warmers. She does the glass oil warmers, which are really really pretty. They're the prettiest ones out there, to be honest with you. Um, some people do put wax in them. I'm not sure that that's um, advised. They're the ones with the, you know, the glass ones and they and they have a little switch, dimmer switch on them and then the gl nice glass bowl on the top or whatever. I don't know if that's advised, to be honest with you, but I know people do it. So, I don't know. That's, let, leave that to your own discretion. But then she has tart warmers with five cents for the um, the plug in the wall ones, and I just bought one, and I really wish I had known this. I should have checked it out sooner, because she has them, and it comes with five cent tarts. And she had posted to me, she had emailed me or messaged me, whatever we were speaking, and she was saying that her scent tarts fit perfectly in the little warmers. So I may have to get another one because. Mine didn't come with any scent tarts. Mine just came plain. Um, but these are really cute, too. I, I love the one that I have in my bathroom right now. But there's one in here that matches even better. Okay, anyway, I'm going on a tangent. But it's the price is $14.99. And I, like I said, I've seen other vendors do the um, plug-in tart warmers, and they're $14.99. And you don't get any wax with them, but with tiny tricky candles you do so I mean that's super super cool um, she also has oh that's cool she she also sells the fragrance oils too so she has this she has scent sample tarts which are um, a dollar so if you just want to sample scents they're a dollar um, 
try the scents before you buy the scents tarts. So these are probably about an ounce. I'm just guessing. They're probably about an ounce. But she also sells the fragrance oil. So if you buy the nice glass oil burners, she also sell she also sells I'm sorry guys, it's 3 30 in the morning here. I'm tripping over my tongue. She also sells the fragrance oils, which is really cool. They can go into the into the um, warmers. So that is well for half an ounce, it's two. Let me see. Half an ounce is two ninety nine. 1.5 ounces is $4.99, and then one ounce is $3.99. And she has quite a selection here of, oh my goodness gracious. You know, I haven't burned oil in eons. I mean, I did it years ago. I wonder how much, like, how much longer that lasts than tarts. I'm curious. Hillary, if you know the answer, post it below, please. You know, do your fragrance? Do, the, do you think the fragrance oil is burning or the wax burning, which gives a stronger throw, which lasts longer? I'm really super curious about that because that's an amazing price for all these scents. There's just a million, not literally a million, obviously, but there's a, there's such a huge amount of scents here, and I'm curious about that. But anyway, um, then she also has. Let's see. A tiny, oh, trinket perfect pairs. So I guess you can mix and match custom combos. Um, and it obviously is going to depend on what you mix and match with. She has votives, she has jar candles, and she has the perfect pairs. Um, okay, we already did her jar candles. And then she has something called limited edition. Let me see what that is. Oh, that's so sweet. She was doing for the um, Oklahoma Tornado Benefit Candle. She has one of those. So 100% of the price. And they're only $10. And they come in this cute little tin. And you can say glitter or no glitter, which I'm loving when sites start doing that because I'm just so over the glitter thing. Um, they're $10 and every it goes 100% of it of the price of the candle goes will be donated to the will be donated to the Red Cross to help benefit those affected by the tornadoes in Oklahoma. We will provide proof of the donation in the form of a screenshot posted on our Facebook page. The Facebook page is facebook.com slash tiny trinket candles. Um, all benefit candles ordered between 617 and 630 will ship on the first. Um, it says this candle pays tribute to the Oklahoma state insect, the honeybee. Each Oklahoma honeybee candle contains at least one foil wrapped hidden charm. So you still get a charm with your candle. The scent is sweet, strong, and mouth watering, just like the purest wild honey. I really think that I may have to order one of those. I don't have many honey scents. I like that. Even though I don't burn candles, that will that will be my exception because I, I really like that. And I like that 100%. 100. 100, guys. 100% of the proceeds go. I mean, that's that's just amazing to me. That is just awesome, Hillary. That's another two thumbs up right there. That That's just amazing. I'm gonna, I think I'm going to have to order one of those. Um, so... Okay, and it's and it shows here. Well, this is what just what this says that her turnaround time is usually fourteen business days. Just so you guys know, which is not really that bad. I mean, you know, some of them out there are crazy. Um, I got my stuff much quicker than that, so I'm not sure how accurate that is. But that's of course, you know, that's a to be safe kind of thing. Um, so again, like I said, I will post all of her information. Now, her current scent list I'm just looking at because it's effective as of May 2013. Everything is alphabetized, which I love. Looks like absolutely everything has a scent description, which I love. Oh, I'm loving this. 
Oh my goodness. Okay. So again, Hillary, two thumbs up. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so oh, whatever. It's so it's so early or late or whatever you want to call it. But I love. I cannot stand when I go onto a website and there's no set or there's a scent description or scent list, but there's no description. So I have no idea what this thing is supposed to smell like, you know, and, and a lot of people do like house blends or stuff like that or whatever and whatever. Okay. So I'm going to go on, I'm going to go, I'm going to go on to what I received right now. I'm going to let you know, I'm burning jelly bean and this fragrance is amazing. This is so nice. It's, um, it just smells like jelly beans. Like, not any of the licorice ones or whatever, but, you know, the nice, um, fruity ones, sugary, fruity kind. Um, it's just, it's really nice. This thing has been burning for, let's see for about three hours now and so far no stopping. Now I'm going to show you the size of, yeah, this is just a, oh, it smells so good. It just, as soon as I put my nose in it, it just reminded me of like the Easter bunny. Oh my God. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Um, but I'm going to show you the size of these because this was a discussion we had when I do reviews for people, like honest to goodness reviews, not just my cold sniffs, whatever. If someone contacts me and wants a review done, okay, um, I explain to them, like, if you're going to send me a little one ounce thing of whatever, I'm not going to be able to do a review for you. And I don't mean to be mean by that in any means whatsoever, but one ounce is not going to cover my warmer bowl, like at all. So I'm not going to get a good wax pull. I'm not going to get a good scent throw, and it's just not going to work. So Hillary saying that, stating to me that tarts were really not her thing, but knowing that she doesn't really you know, burn them. So they, they do do the sample tarts, which I'm assuming are probably about an ounce. That, that's just me assuming. I don't know for sure. It doesn't say it on the site that I, that I noticed, but, um, she was asking me if I would be interested in bigger tarts. Um, and again, she said the reason she does the sampler tarts is they fit perfect in the warm, in the little warmers, which makes sense, you know what I mean? God forbid you put something in your little plug-in warmer and it overflows, you know, when it when it's melted. Um, so I put this jelly bean tart in the warmer. And I really could have done half. And that is really rare for me. It it's really it was really rare. Like Half of it had melted, and, like, the wax pool was really nice. Like, so, I could have cut it in half, which I didn't. But I will with the rest of them. But, um, so the jelly bean is going to be a little, you know, like, to almost to the tip top. So, that's a big tart right there. But I'm going to show you the size of it so you can see. Now, I don't believe that she has these for sale yet on her website, but I'm going to advise her to please do have them for sale on the website because I am loving them. I'm loving the size of them. I think they're amazing. So here it is. This is a scallop. Now, I believe she had said something along the lines oh my God, of doing like a three ounce scallop, which I don't, I think this, I put this on my scale and it was like 1.9 or something, like close to close to two ounces, but this looks bigger than two ounces to me. So I don't know if it's the way it's configured or not, but 
I'm not sure. Again, Hillary, post below. Please let me know how big these are, these scent shots that you had sent me, or scent shots, these scallops that you had sent me, because I'm buying a ton of these if, if you sell these on your website. Absolutely no doubt. Like I said, I could have cut this sucker in half and still been good. And that never happens to me ever. So, again, this right here, the size, thumbs up. So please post below, Hillary, as far as what, how many ounces this is. Because I think, she, I thought she said something like three. But anyway, now, the other thing I'm going to tell you is her wax is very soft. You're going to be able to see, see where my finger, fingers were? Okay. You see the, fra that's like the fragrance oils and the wax. It's so, it's super, super soft. Not super soft to the point of where like I'm hitting it, it's squishing, but it is very soft. She uses all soy and she adds no additives whatsoever. Um, you know, a lot of people do add additives to um, make the throw a little better, whatever. She just can't justify it. Oh my God, it smells so good. Anyway, so it's all natural, you know, all soy, whatever, like no additives added whatsoever. So if you're worried about additives, if they, you think, you know, oh, additives cause migraines, they could give me migraines, they give me headaches, they get my allergies going, whatever. Hidden trinket, tiny, oh my God, tiny trinket candles, no additives whatsoever um, in her wax. Now, like I said, it's very kind of like melty and smooth and oily, um, but so it just smells so good. Okay, I'm going to put this one back in the bag. Okay. This one is called... I'm trying to see if I can get it. Now, I don't know if this is how she... Well, she has Ziploc bags. So Ziplocs are cool. Because I was going to say, I don't know if she, is, this is how she normally... Um, closes her stuff or packages the tarts but normally I say no no to this as far as forget when you close using your label to seal that shut usually that's a no-no for me but she has ziplocs so that's fine because I cannot stand, and her bag also, it worked fine where I was able to take the labels off. Like, you know, they came right up. They didn't rip or anything like that. But normally, it's it's a no-no for me. But she doesn't do that, so that's great. Um, this is called, let's see if you can see this. My camera's not going to focus now, right? For real? There you go. Deep blue sea. You can see tiny trinket candles right there. Um, no, it's got to focus on me. Okay. <laughs> I always have problems with this webcam. Um, <clears throat> and deep blue sea is not on in her scent list. So this must be a new scent, but let me tell you, this is an absolutely, oh wait, I'm, I'm only on C's, Deep Blue Sea, an invigorating aroma of salt water and musk with bottom notes of tangerine, jonquil, I don't know what that is, and marigold. Close your eyes and imagine you're on a cruise. And I could. Oh, it's so good. This is just a really wonderful, clean, fresh, kind of like spa fragrance. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Absolutely amazing. Um, next we have... <clears throat> Excuse me for keep, I keep clearing my throat. Banana Nut Muffin. And... I'm sorry, guys. I have to wave my magical fingers to make it. Um, 
make it focus on me. It's a dessert. It's a breakfast food. It's a candle. Banana nut muffin is so true to the scent that you'll find yourself compelled to preheat the oven and bust out the mixer. Well, I don't know that about that because... Oh, my God. This smells amazing, though. I don't know about that because I'm... Nothing really compels me to mix, bust out any mixers. I'm not a big cook. I can cook and I can bake. I used to bake a ton. I used to do like all my Christmas um, gifts and everything. Used to be baked goods and stuff like that and put them in little tins and all that. But I don't know. I guess I got lazy in my old age. But this is banana nut muffin. Oh my God. Okay, guys. This is the most accurate and amazing banana nut muffin I've ever smelled in my life. And I am not lying. At all. At all. And like I guess I didn't get paid for this review. Just to let you guys know. I, I just got paid by her sending nice big tarts that I can use. <laughs> um, oh, this is amazing. This is. It is absolutely spot on. Banana nut muffin. Can smell the banana. Can smell the, you know, the nuts. Which is just awesome. Because a lot of times you can smell one or the other. But you can't really smell both. Absolutely amazing. Um, This one is really interesting. I can't wait to read the scent shot. This is called Shamrock. And Shamrock. Let me see. So many on here that I need to order. I'm just looking at them now. Green clover and aloe. Now, that's a huge one for me. It's a huge. I've had green clover and aloe before from other vendors and have loved. And this is no exception. This is such a. green spa-like um, scent. I feel like my voice is cracking. I, I apologize, you guys. This is really nice. Yeah, just very fresh and clean and green. And anything green that smells green to me, like, I love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it. And I know a lot of people go, what does green smell like? To me, green smells like walking through a forest. Like, you know, not in autumn, you know, in the summertime, and you just catch the, the fresh whiff of all the greeneries. I absolutely love it. Shamrock is a definite thumbs up for me. Love it. Actually, they all have been so far. Okay, so the next one we have here is Blueberry Muffin. Um, and I'm sure that we know what Blueberry Muffin smells like. Um, it's, a, oh, no, that's banana nut muffin. I was like, I already read that one. Okay, it's not on here. Blueberry pie is on here. Ooh. We need to try it. Oh, my God, there's so many. Oh, my God. She's got a coffee one. And cupcake. And, okay, stop. I got to stop. I gotta stop looking at this list because that that's what gets me going. But blueberry muffin, again, people probably know what blueberry muffin smells like. But I'm gonna give you the accuracy of blueberry muffin. Is it artificial smelling? No. Okay, I wanna go to Dunkin' Donuts. I have not had a muffin, you guys, in like God, five years. I want to go to Dunkin' Donuts right now and get a coffee, a nice hot decaf, and a blueberry muffin. Oh, amazing. Again, spot on. This is, I mean, blueberry muffin and the banana nut bread, those are bakery scents. Now, I'm kind of getting a little out of the bakery just because to me, most bakery, I'm not going to say all of them, from vendors, smells they all smell the same 
Like you open the, I mean, first of all, they're overwhelming, overpowering. If you ordered anything else, you're not going to smell it. You open the box, it's all you smell. It's cinnamon and, you know, whatever. So I'm kind of getting away from that because all the bakeries are kind of starting to smell the same. But these, the banana bread, the banana nut muffin and the blueberry muffin do not smell anything alike. They are absolutely amazing. And this blueberry nut muffin is one where you would think it would have the brown sugar and the graham cracker or whatever and the cinnamon and the whatever would really smell bakery bakery. This is spot on blueberry muffin. So it's not your generic bakery scent. Love it. Love it. So even these bakery scents to me are not bakery in my book. They're they're just spot on um, to what their name is. Oh, I'll show you first real quick. This one is called Pina Colada because we got to get to the goodies. Pina Colada L M N O P L M N O P. Um, this reminds you of sipping the popular rum based frozen cocktail with a strong base of coconut and a sweet tinge of pineapple. Now, okay, and this absolutely does, absolutely does. Now, this is what I'm going to say. Oh, my God. Okay, this is what I'm going to say about my pina colada and any pina colada scents, including this one. I wished I smelled a little more rum. Now, I don't know if there's a rum scent a rum fragrance oil, I don't know. But I would like to smell a little more rum in all of my pina coladas or all my, any of the drink scents, I'd like to smell a little bit of the alcohol in it, which I'm not picking up. But as far as the pina colada goes, every p single pina colada that I've gotten, it's been mainly pineapple. It's been a pineapple scent. This You couldn't catch the coconut. Coconut is so hard to catch, guys. It really is. It's hard to not have everything else overpower it. And this, I can just smell coconut meat. Like the meat of the coconut. Fresh, fresh coconut. Oh, my God. It's so good. And with the back of the pineapple. You know, the... The hint of the pineapple, definitely. Wow. 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 I just said that three times. <laughs> I just said wow three times for Tiny Trinket Candles Pina Colada because, wow, that's really, really good in my book. That's awesome. Um, let me see. Okay, here we have Pink Lemonade. You know what this reminds me of? Not pink, not mixed pink lemonade, but like um, if you bought, what's the name of it? It's the most popular. They have the regular, I mean, I could just picture it in the plastic um, tubs and you unscrew it. Country Time, the lemonade, and then they had the pink lemonade. And like you scoop, you know, you'd scoop it out and, it, and add water. This is tangy and sweet. Summer won't seem so far away when you're burning pink lemonade. And this is really good. But that's what it reminds me of is not so much pink lemonade like already poured. You know what I mean? But the pink lemonade mix. Oh, it's so good. Really nice. Nice and tangy. But again, sweet. Oh, really, really good. I'm trying to get the air out of these bags. Um, again, spot on. So far. Okay. Now, this one is interesting. Let me see if I can find the... Oh, I was correct. Okay. This one is called Juiced. And I immediately said to my daughter, 
that this has to be OJ. Like, it's gotta be. And it is. It's like freshly squeezed, squeezed orange juice. Um, in the scent description, anyway, that's what it says. It's so good! Oh my god, I am love. Like I said, and again, guys, look at the size of this thing. This thing is huge. Please, Hillary, please sell these. Please sell this size. I mean, you can still sell your sample size for your little warmers, but please, because I have little warmers too, so I'll still buy those too. But oh, I love this size. This is so good. This is like literally like up my nose. <laughs> Just like, oh my god! You know this. This reminds me of. Um, I don't know if you guys ever did this, or I may be sounding crazy, or I may be dating myself, or whatever. But we used to go to Disney World all the time, and I'm sorry, I look so tired, guys. I'm really exhausted. We used to go to Disney World all the time. It's the first time I ever saw it. You go to the side of the road, right in Florida. And they have stands that you can sell, you know, fresh picked oranges, whatever they sell. You can buy them. And what they would do is give you a special straw that you would just pop into the orange and drink it that way. You know what I mean? It was it was the coolest thing as, as a kid. I mean, you know, you'd squeeze the orange and, you know, the, the juice would come up the straw. Now, obviously, it took a lot of work, and it was kind of gimmicky, you know. It didn't work exactly like it was supposed to. But I remember as a kid thinking, that that's really cool, you know. You just pop this thing in, and oh, it was it was neat. It was cool. But that's what that reminds me of. That just brought me back. I love when scents bring you back to things, guys. Like, I really do. I just find it such a nice emotional experience, like... Especially when it's good things, like good, you know, oh, love it. I absolutely love it. I really do. Fresh picked orange juice, or juiced, is fresh picked orange juice. Okay, this one's interesting. I can't wait to get the, this is called Jungle Madness. And again, like I said, these things, these things are really big, guys. Um, I can't wait to get the, the scent description on this. Okay, because I knew I loved this. My daughter couldn't stand it. But this scent, Jungle Madness, I have to get so much more of this. So I can smell this thing right through the bag, you guys. I'm not I haven't even opened the bag yet. I can smell this straight through the bag. Hillary, please, more of these big tarts in Jungle Madness, please. Cause if you don't, I'm gonna have to buy a candle and then scoop it out and I hate to do that oh my god okay so this says from the depths of the jungle comes black ginger tall bamboo shoots a hint of patchouli and indescribable spiciness now just that scent description you guys is so up my alley if if anything sounds very exotic very like destinational or just not your typical, you know, then it's it's a crisp scent. And like I said, this thing I could smell through the bag. Jungle Madness. Oh my god. This is a very, very masculine scent, guys. So if you like masculine, this is the way to go right here. Oh my god, this is so strong. And it is so nice. Like I said, a lot of people get turned off by patchouli. I, I am a firm believer that patchouli, when added correctly, just bumps up a scent. Like it just really. Oh my god! And it is. It's it's spicy. Like it's spicy. Like it's almost like, like you know, you smell pepper, but it's um. But it's not overpowering in that sense. It's, oh my god. It's just a very, very exotic, spicy, manly, 
cent. This is my all-time favorite. In fact, I'm going to mark it. I'm marking it. Jungle Madness. I'm marking that as like one of my all-time favorites. I'm going to mark it with my Sharpie marker in a minute. Um, next we have Hollywood Glam. Now, if you look at this, can you see it? It's all, it's almost black in color and it's got all this gold sparkle over it. Can you see that guys? Now I, it's so cute. I, like I said, I'm not big on, on, look at all that glitter. Holy moly. I'm not big on glitter, but I will take the chance for this one. I mean, that's just for you, for you guys who like glitter. That's amazing. But I mean, with a scent called Hollywood Glam, you have to. Okay, so this is, okay, our newest limited edition scent, Hollywood Glam, is a nod to the classic Chanel No. 5 fragrance. Infused with microfine gold glitter. So it's infused. So the glitter, yeah, the, the glitter goes all the way through, it looks like, guys. But um, it has top notes of Adelaide's, which I don't know, or Al. Al Aldehydes, I don't know what that is. Bergamot, lemon, and neroli. A heart of jasmine, lily, and lily of the valley, rose, and orris. Not sure what that is. And a base of vetiver, sandalwood, vanilla, and amber. Now, this smells just like Chanel Number no. Five, and the reason I know that Chanel Number no. Five is not one of my favorite fragrances whatsoever. I find it very grandma-like. I know people love it. People rave about it. The first thing my daughter said when she smelled this is like, it reminds me of grandma. I said, okay. So when we melt this, we will think of grandma because my grandmother passed a couple years ago. Um, and we still miss her very, very much. But she used to wear Chanel number no. five. And my first experience ever with Chanel number no. five was playing in my mom's, um, perfumes. And you know, Chanel number no. 5 is very expensive. It's a classic. And I put some on me and I didn't like the smell. And then I couldn't get it off me. And I was like, oh my god, mom's going to kill me for being in her perfume. Which of course she didn't. But like I said, I'm not a huge Chanel number no. 5 fan. So this is Hollywood Glam is not something I personally would order again. But it's not offensive to me. But it just does remind me of Grandma. Which is nice, in a way. Again, another nice memory. But it's not something that I would um, I would purchase again. But it is Chanel number no. 5. Like, absolutely. Like, to a T. You know, it, it really is. It's the first thing I said when I smelled it. I'm like, oh, that smells like... I couldn't think of it, and they're like, oh, Chanel No. 5, that's what it smells like. Um, okay, last one we have here is Amaretto Delight. Now, I know I'm going to love this one because she even has bacon, you guys. She's got bacon up here. Um, an enjoyable, nutty scent. With rich buttery undertones, a must for relaxing summer days. Anything amaretto. I love amaretto. This is really nice. Now this is more towards what I would consider a bakery scent. And I think it's from the buttery undertones. But it's really nice. It smells just like amaretto. And I can smell the nuts. Which is just, you know, like I said, it's really hard. When you mix a bunch of fragrances to make sure that everybody gets. Mm, that's good. That's a good amaretto scent. Definitely. Amaretto Delight. Um, it's not too strong on the amaretto. It's nice. It's really nice. Um, okay, so those were my scents, guys. Those were my, um, what you call it? Those were my tarts. These things, again, 
Hillary, huge. Love them. Post below. Not 100% sure how much they are. I mean, how much wax is here. But you need to sell these. This is a must. You have to sell this on the website. Absolutely. Absolutely. Or I, I will hunt you down and I will make you pour them. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I will make you pour them. Okay. Now you guys have got to see this amazing work of art. Okay. This thing is amazing. Now, it doesn't say on here how many ounces this is. So, I'm not too sure. I want to say 16. But I don't know. Okay? Look at this candle. Look at this. Come on. Focus. There we go. Tiny tricky candles. I think I had put in lo I think I put logo label or something or whatever. But this is in, I don't know if you're going to see this because it's very small. Okay, it's in aphrodisiac. And see what it contains? Soy wax dye fragrance. That's it. That's it. No additives. That's it. Straight up. Um, I'm looking. Okay. So if you look at this side of the candle right here, you can see... Right there, where my goodie is. Now, again, what I'm going to tell you is what she had said to me was for her reviewers, people who do reviews, she will offer you a free bracelet to go with your charm. Well, I already had one from a different company. Um, and I never worn it because I prefer... If I'm going to wear a charm bracelet of some sort, I want one with like da like a bunch of danglies. So I don't, I really hadn't worn it yet. They had one bead on it. That's how I got it. I got it as a prize for something. I forget what it was. And um, so I said, I don't need a bracelet. I'm like, can you just throw in an extra charm? So let me tell you what she did. First of all, we're going to do this candle. Because look, guys. Holy moly. Can you see that, you guys? Seriously. There is a whole layer of purple and pink glitter on the top of this candle. Now, like I said, I'm over glitter as far as in my warmers go. But this thing is a work of art. You have the pink candle and then the purple look at purple and blue and pink glitter on top look at that and it's a nice two wick amazing 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 candle gorgeous I don't know if I'm going to want to burn it to be honest with you guys I mean I will burn it but I just oof. I don't know it's gorgeous Absolutely gorgeous. This, and this is an aphrodisiac. I wish she asked me what I wanted it. This says, amazingly complex and energizing. Aphrodisiac begins with top notes of grapefruit, lemon, mandarin, and green tomato leaf, which is super interesting to me. And I can smell the lemon. I can smell the grapefruit, the mandarin. Followed by middle notes of jasmine. I can catch a little bit of that. And dry base notes of eucalyptus in woods. Now, I'm not really catching eucalyptus unless because it's mixed with something else. I am catching it. And I'm not catching woods. So I wish I was. But I believe once I burn this, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to catch those. Because that's what people say. That, you know, the dry down when they do the base notes and all that other stuff. And the dry down... That's what they say you get is, you know, when you burn it, it's, you'll, you know, those scents will come to the surface or whatever. But this is amazing. amazing. And I have to show you guys one more time that glitter. I'm sorry. I can't get over it. I got to show it to you. Look at that. A whole layer of glitter. Like, oh my God. Oh, my Salvatore. I didn't watch Vampire Diaries tonight because it's over for the season, but. 
I did watch the se the season premiere of True Blood. Not that anybody cares, but I did. This is an amazing scent. I'm loving this. I'm sorry, you can't really hear me when my face is in a candle. But, and like I said, and there's my goodies. I'm not one to dig, so I'm not going to dig or anything like that. I will just burn this candle nicely. Um, oh, it's so gorgeous. I was going to say, maybe I'll give it as a gift. I don't know. It's too gorgeous. I'm going to look at it for a while. I'm just going to sit and look at it for a while. But anyway, so just to give you a little idea of what you get in your, depending on the size of what of your candle, I think it's like, you know, one, two, or three charms or whatever. This is what you get. Now, we have to disregard. Okay, this is not her, her bracelet. This was from, this is from a different company. And this is not her charm. I'm sure she probably has some charms like this. Let's see. She probably has some like this. They're very pretty glass ones. But this is not her bracelet and this is not her charm. But this is the extra charm that I got. Guys, look at that. <gasps> love it. Angel wing. Love it. Gorgeous. It's dangly. Just like I like it. I like it dangly. I want it to dangle. <gasps> I love it. I was not excited about filling up this bracelet. But now that I know she has danglies, super excited, guys. Super, super excited. Again, like I said, I'm not going to. That's not. So this is just to give you an idea of it on a bracelet. Because like I said, the bracelet is not hers. The bracelet is not hers. Come on. You were just focusing fine for me. There we go. But look at that charm. So pretty. But that is what you get in tiny trinket candles. That's what you get. Those gorgeous, you know, for your Pandora or whatever you have. Plus, like I said, she sells a bunch of different styles of bracelet. So I'm really excited to fill this up now. I really am. I'm, I'm really I'm really excited to fill this up now. I had no desire. I had this sitting forever. I had absolutely no desire to um, wear it and to, you know, buy beads for it or anything like that. But now I'm going to be buying Tiny Trinket so that I can fill this sucker up because it's really cool. And like I said, she's got danglies, guys. Danglies. No, you put now. Yeah, I'm sure you cannot say, "Oh, well, I want all danglies." See, I would love all danglies. I would love all danglies on my bracelet. Like, how cool would that be? Just everything dangling. I mean, as you can tell, I like, I like danglies. I got a lot of dangly things going on here, you know. But um, so you don't get to pick your charm or anything like that. But it's just gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. So, it's amazing. So, like I said, that is my review, guys. I absolutely, highly, 100% recommend Tiny Trinket Candles. Um, not only for your little charms that you get, you know, or for the bracelets. That's an added bonus. But this wax is amazing. Like I said, we're going on four hours now, still smelling this jelly bean. Like, OMG. Like, I really should have cut it in half. I'm going to have to turn it off, I think, because that's how strong it is. I'm really going to have to turn it off and then burn it again tomorrow um, because I should have I should have cut it in half. But, but it's really good. It's so super sweet and juicy and reminds me of Easter. But all these scents... There's so many of them, Hillary. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be sending you messages on, and that candle, this candle, you guys, whoops, that I'm breaking right now. This candle, I'm gonna show you one more time. Check it out, pink with purple glitter. Look at this work of art. Absolutely amazing. So, Hillary. Thank you so much for letting me review 
for you because this was so much fun and I am so excited with this stuff. Like I am so impressed, so excited, spot on, number one. I mean, these fragrances, absolutely spot on. The charms, no chintz factor whatsoever, really gorgeous, really nice. The candle, like you just saw, work of art. Fragrances, like I said, I've been burning this thing for four hours. It's not stopping anytime soon. I'm going to have to turn it off because when I sleep, sometimes if it's too, you know, strong or whatever, then I can't really sleep. But I, I mean, you know, two thumbs up, four thumbs up, like ten thumbs up, ten fingers up. I don't have ten thumbs. What am I, a monkey? <laughs> you know, I mean, I give Tiny Trinket a perfect ten. There really is nothing I can say. No additives in her wax. You saw the ingredients. Soy wax, fragrance, dye. That's it. I mean, just amazing. So head to Tiny Trinket Candles immediately and buy some stuff because it's they're just spot on. They're awesome. And again, Hillary, these this size right here, this size wax wax tarts please put them on your site. And if you have any other questions for me, post it below. Um, if you have questions for Hillary, post it below. I will contact her. She's in my Candles Anonymous group, um, which I'll also post that link below so you can join and be able to speak with Hillary in person, which you can probably get through to her through her Facebook page and her website. But regardless... I, I mean, I really give Tiny Trinket Candles. I wasn't I wasn't expecting this, guys. I really wasn't. I'm thinking, oh, God, okay, another jewelry candle thing, whatever. Like, you know, I was not expecting this at all. And I was pleasantly, pleasantly surprised. So, Hillary, mwah, I love you, love you, love you. Scents are amazing. Ordering more. Absolutely ordering more. Yeah. Two thumbs up. It, amazing. So I hope everybody has a wonderful night. Head over to tinytrinkycandles.com. Pick up your candles, your gorgeous works of art, your tarts, your tart warmers with five free tarts in them. You know, tarts included. Amazing. Have a good night, guys. Or a good morning. Whichever it is for you. I love you guys. Take care.